Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode three of Merch Money. Today, we have Joe Clay as our guest, and we are going to be talking all about quality design. And he is the absolute perfect guest for this because he is excellent with design. So anyway, we're going to quickly go around and just real quick introduce ourselves and just say, uh, we decided to just say one win from this week. So instead of just going over sales numbers, we're each going to pick something that really went well this week. So who wants to go first? I can go. Well, oh, oh. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, go for it. Okay. My win of the week. Um, I've noticed that some of my old selling shirts kind of stopped for, I don't even know, months now. And I've noticed the past few days they've been picking up. So that's definitely a win for me. It's nice to see my best sellers coming back to life finally. Awesome. awesome. Finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> All right. How about the other Amy? Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm going to give a shout out to Jacob Bates and Monty Worrell for answering a lot of my questions in their Etsy success group. <laughs> nice. uh, I have been kind of uh, working on my Etsy stuff on the side in addition to merch and I am seeing results. So it's always encouraging, you know, and you're like, oh, should I work on it? what if I put up new listings and, you know, it's just quiet and I'm paying 20 cents a pop, you know, is it worth it? <laughs> so yeah, just, and then I sold one today that was like uploaded just a few days ago. So a uh, t-shirt. So I was like, woohoo, got to keep going. <laughs> awesome. All right, Brianna. Uh, let's see. I guess for me, it would be that I got my Shopify store back open, which I shouldn't even act like I had one before. I had an account. <laughs> that's kind of straight. And I threw a couple designs in there and didn't know what I was doing. Um, but that was uh, back in, geez, 2015, I think I had that. Um, so I got that back up and running and um, I'm adding products to that. And then ShipStation. I went crazy on ShipStation and I'm kind of playing around with that. So um, it's hard for me to go through the mechanics of everything and have to set it all up. Like, I just want to like get in there and, and do it. Like, let's do this. So, but I, I forced myself to do it. So I'm proud. I'm proud of myself for that. Awesome. You are so fast at implementing things. So that was last <laughs> week's show with Jacob Topping and you are on it. So that's awesome. <laughs> Joe, are you ready? Yeah. Our right, guest of the go. night. Can see this. Woo! Right, there is it. <laughs> One <second. laughs> The big old 2000. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations! <laughs> that is that's an awesome milestone. I sold my two thousand design today, so yeah, Yay. it was exciting. Awesome! I told him to keep his merch account on during the show because I feel like he's gonna tear up right on the show. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it on, so we'll see. You gotta let us know. Just stop where whoever's yeah. talking and be like, "I teared up." <laughs> I will, I will. So, all right, I guess uh, I gotta go. My my name is Helen Kinson, and um, I had a day where I sold 17 shirts. So that's good for me. <laughs> so I feel like things are starting to pick back up and I'm uh, really happy with this week. So that's it. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. So anyway, so we, we did, we, another thing we did different this time is in our Facebook group, we asked everybody what they wanted to ask Joe on the show. So we have some questions oh. for him and also we are going to be at, closely monitoring the chat as much as we can. So if you have any questions for Joe, definitely put question or bold or something so that we can see it and, and write your question for Joe. We'll try to fit it in here and get as many questions answered as possible. Are you ready, Joe? Ready. You're the Merch ready? University professor. I know, Mr. Merch University himself. We are so honored. <laughs> You, let me tell like a real quick story. I'll be really quick. Yeah. No, yeah. take your time. The whole, the whole reason I started that is because I listened to the um, audio book of Crush It by Gary Vee. Nice. Ooh. Everything always goes back to Gary Vee. Like, <laughs> like, so it many like, of us. Yeah, I bought that book on audio and I always listen to it and I'm like, dude, I need to start something. So it's just kind of happened. So. Well, you were like one of the first people. I mean, you you were yeah. on it with merch. So I I really yeah. appreciate everything you've done for the community. I learned so much from you and Yeah, um, I started. You, yeah, go ahead. 
I was just going to say, we, for anyone who doesn't know Joe, he uh, he is a great member of the green room community. That's how I originally knew Joe. And he helped get a lot of the people from that group into another group to talk about merch. And then from there, he ended up starting the Merch University. And uh, so I've been following along on his journey. And he is just, we're, we'll go into all the things, but he's now he's selling designs and he's just grown from there. <laughs> so um, do you want to talk about a little bit of the things that you are? Before, actually, before we even go into all of that, the very first question is um, from Joyce Tamasini. So thank you so much, Joyce, for your question. It says, please ask Joe about his possible licensing endeavor. He mentioned it in a post. Oh. Thanks. Yeah, so yeah, start with that and then just, uh, you know, mention all the stuff that you have. You have so many okay. things going on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Um, actually, the people have never got back with me about the licensing thing. So I'm just still waiting to hear back from them. So it was it was through a, through a college. So uh -huh. I was like, I just messaged them. Yeah, you could, they said you could like email them and they had like some kind of form. And so I just uh, messaged them, but um, they haven't got back with me yet. So, but but they said uh, it could take a while. So yeah, that, that's the kind of thing that I would see it would take, take a while, but that's so great that you went for it and just asked. That's amazing. Yeah, because Actually, on on their site, it says like you know, um, it was a major. It's a major university, and it just it pretty much it said, if you're selling um, like for the licensing, it says if you're selling retail, it's different than when you're if you're just trying to sell online or like a craft type of license. And so I was like, I don't know if this if it was like a craft type of license where you're selling online, the license was like cheap. So I was just like, oh my god, I'm just gonna try it out and see what happens. So. That um, is so good. I, I I really recommend that for everybody. Like you, yeah. sometimes we feel like we're just a small little business and nobody's gonna listen to us. But if you just reach out to people, you just ask. Like you never know who's gonna say yes. So you, I mean, yeah. you could be having a huge account coming up from this. Yeah, you just never know. So it's it's worth it's worth a shot. And then um, let's see. Um, yeah, I also started the group, and then um, actually I started the group when I was still on the 100 tier. You know, and you get so many people go like I, I always tell people I was like, you should start a group. You know, you'll and that's how that's how I've learned so much is by starting my own group because like exactly. I was like research yeah researching so much and wanting to share so much, and then actually now it's kind of like I have there's so many people that are active in there that you know there's some days if I don't say anything it's okay because people take over and it's fine now so it's grew it grew from like i think i had like a couple hundred and then like it seemed like overnight it hit like over two thousand i'm like where did that come from because so you were crazy. early that's like really big you i mean you saw this opportunity and you ran with it i mean i yeah. started i started around the same time maybe a little later and i'm just yeah. now starting the group so you really were like taking yeah. action yeah and so it was more of a like how to keep track of my journey, you know, and share, you know, because it's always when you get a sale, you got you want to share it, you know, so, right? With the other people who who got to say, like, hey, I got a sale today, or you know, or something has big big happened today. So I'm always wanting to share with others, and and it, and now that's kind of what it, the groups becomes become helping people. And through that, I decided to, um, I think I think Margaret uh, Texas Gale Treasures, uh, me and her have a show called uh, me and her started that show called uh, Merch Talk, and so we started that, and then through that, she had a Patreon. Mm -hmm. account and so because of that i was encouraged to start my own and help people so um people can join uh, my patreon and then um and then eventually i was since i was like always giving ideas or niches to start with or whatever so i just started to make i said well if i'm doing this i might as well start making designs and then just selling them because i'm talking about I, so pretty much the designs i talk about in the facebook group are the designs that i make and um Mer you know, in the merch you designs when I get a chance because I'm, you know, that's what keeps me busy too. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. And so. guys, we linked his uh, Facebook group and YouTube channel in the de in the description of the video. So you could, if you're not already following him, definitely, definitely do that. And we and Joyce <laughs> said, uh, Joyce said, thank you for answering her question, Joe. Oh, uh, thank you for welcome. asking the question, Joyce. Didn't we, um, didn't we hear Joe that you, you had a pretty cool Patreon program? I know you just mentioned it, but, um, Someone had mentioned, was it Jacob? Jacob Topping. Yeah. I don't know if you heard last week's video, but if you didn't, you have to listen to like the last like, 30 minutes. You've got to no, no. ask Joe. Jacob Topping <laughs> talked about you for the whole last 30 minutes of last yeah, week. Yeah, actually, I actually, <laughs> I actually listened to that today, so. Okay, <laughs> good. Jacob. Yeah, he was telling yeah. about a time you guys hung out, and he was, oh my gosh. He, then, then he got sidetracked, started talking about maple syrup, and you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had a, we had a maple syrup date. 
So oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's giving me a tour of his house all kinds of stuff it was cool oh, i got to meet his wife it. so it's it's kind of cool you know he's, he's a really nice guy i met him in person so yeah um let's see what else and then so yeah i have that design site and so i have that and patreon and then um and then i actually started in uh it, it's called etsy printful group i started that group too and so oh awesome um, i don't even know about that one I know, you didn't even I tell know, me that one I need to get over there. <laughs> all here, right. And after, actually, <laughs> after the show, I'll add all the links that you didn't give what? me. <laughs> We're all going to run over there. <laughs> I know. And then actually, I, I kind of started that with somebody else. Somebody asked me to start that. Can you start that? And I'm like, yeah, I guess. So I just kind of start. And actually, I, I only um, started um, Etsy really um, selling on there this month. And I, I sold like so far. So it's encouraging. Just keep doing Etsy. So. Well, that's a great thing. You just keep growing and growing every every month. You're learning something and doing something new. So, Actually, are you on any other POD what? sites? Are you uh, on any other POD I, sites? I did like Redbubble before and Teespring. And actually, every once in a while, I have like maybe a hundred designs on Teespring's, and I just have them on repeat. So once they end, the campaign ends, it starts back over, and I get sales from there frequently. Every every once in a while, I'll get a sale. Oh, maybe okay, like cool. 20 bucks a month or something, you know, just something, nothing really. So, Hey, 20 bucks, is 20, bucks. 20 bucks. Is 20 bucks. <laughs> I'll exactly. take it. When we started at merch, we were going excited for it. Yeah. So it's crazy. <laughs> um, actually I think, um, and I, I always, I always try to reach out to other people who are selling designs and stuff. And I think, um, I actually got some, some designs a long time ago from, um, Brianna. So, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Joe, you were the one who posted, uh, VA rentals in the group. That's how I originally, yeah. Um, started merch because I had I was not like you I was not a quick adopter and fast moving and I was so busy with Amazon FBA that I was like oh merch that sounds cool I signed up and then I did nothing for over a year and you yeah. posted that thing about VA rentals and I was like oh that would be perfect and I put up the 25 designs I got from them and then the next month after that Amazon started shutting down accounts that didn't have any shirts oh up. wow so it was because of you and because mm -hmm. of Brianna that I'm here right now so yes. thank you so, guys so yeah. much. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, I forgot she had all kinds of stuff. So I was like sharing her stuff. <laughs> yeah, that that was so helpful for me. So I really appreciate it. I that think it's a, really cool just yeah. how um, helpful Joe has been to a lot of us merchers in the beginning of our journey. I know he was for me too. That's when his group was one of the first ones that I that I joined and it was just so encouraging and it was neat just walking through it with so many other people that were just starting as well. And it's just cool to see his hand in a lot, in a lot of that for us. It's just thank you so much. Yep. We really, really appreciate it. So, well, does anybody else have anything in the chat? Are you guys looking at the chat before we move on to the next, uh, the next question? Here, Monty, we so say hi. Monty, oh, Monty, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Um, there's there's a guy in the chat um, is Mario and actually um, he he's actually from the green room and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna share a little quick story maybe somebody's new out there um, he he just started and I don't, I don't think he cares if I share it, but he was brand new <laughs> and he was kind of like scared of like oh what am, I don't want to upload something and get trademark and get in trouble and I just kind of encouraged him I was like hey you should you should you should really try it you know and I was just kind of helped him out but, but I could say today he's at the 2000 tier and he's probably about to tier up to 4000 so. oh my gosh Mario that's so awesome wow congratulations Jeez. another story about Mario is he has been so encouraging like every time I post something he he, he called it uh, the our very first episode. He told he marked uh, he commented on all the posts. He's like, "This is much watch TV. I can't <laughs> wait." And he he was just so he's been so wonderful. So. Oh, wow. Thank you, Mario. So, all right. Well, let's go to the next question. This is um, our next question is about what apps and software do you use when you're creating designs? Um, and Sapna Alagetti said. Can we cover a little bit about all these apps? And she put in parentheses, Canva, Over, et cetera. Specifically on what is okay to use and what is not. So licensing. I found their licensing verbiage pretty confusing. For example, Canva comes with free images, but is it okay to use them on the shirts as is, or should they be modified? I know that's um, a lot of a lot of questions, but <laughs> I would I really don't use Canva, but I would think okay. you would make sure you um yeah look at their licensing. It'll if it's um 
commercial use and um, most of them are commercial use. And if, even if they are free, it's, it's, you, it's better, it's safer if you um, change it up, you adapt it or you make it your own pretty much. That, that's a safe bet right there. Yeah, I did, I did send her the uh, Canva licensing, like uh, all the information they had on their site about it. Yeah. So, but you know how those things are. It's confusing. It's so much fine print. <laughs> yeah. it's like... And I, actually um, how I started getting, I didn't, I was, I was always hoping you could, that's kind of like a big deal for me. Like I'm all about, I'm always on my phone. So I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that'd be so cool to do merch on your phone. And you never could really a long time ago. And then um, actually Jacob, the day, like before I met him, um, when I got his book and stuff, um, long time ago, like a year ago, I was, I read it and like, it was like the first thing about mobile merch or whatever. And I just stopped right there. I didn't even, I, you know, I don't even know <laughs> if I even read past that that day <laughs> or a week or whatever. I just stopped and I was like, dude, I'm doing mobile merch. And I just contacted him and he, I got on like, he had, he had to do it like an app. And so if you made a design on your phone, you had to open it in the Puffin app and then you could submit it. But oh, now it's like, that. now it's like straight, straight up. You can just do it on your phone. You don't even have to do that no more. You can just <laughs> submit and then it works. But uh, the, the other apps I, I found out is a really good app is uh, um, the Vintage Design app. I really like their, um, the way you can use their fonts and the way you can use, not their fonts, but their, like just their, uh, the whole layout and stuff. I like that. But um, I always import fonts to um, Vintage Design. I don't, I either I buy them or I get them from defont.com, you know, 100% free ones or, yeah, I don't use um, their graphics. Some, sometimes I'll use their graphics, but I don't use any of their fonts. And then um, after I make a design there, I, I go to the over app and I resize it and then I upload it. That's all I do. But That's, that's awesome. I, I remember you just were so excited about doing uh, mobile, mobile yeah, totally. app and Jacob topping that was in that 30 minutes of him talking about you, he's he said, make sure that J Joe talks all about mobile, designing on mobile, so. Yeah, mobile yeah. is awesome. Are there any other um, apps that you use? I know you are big into Over and big into the Vintage app. Are there any others? Um, let's see, another app. Oh, um, if you if you don't, there's another app. There's uh, two apps. There's Word Swag and there's, um, and there's another app called Typorama. I think that's right. And actually those, you can't really use those apps. I mean, you can kind of, but um, they're good with topography. So like, if you're like, you know, most people, when you, when you first starting design, when, even when I did, when I first started, I'm like, how do I, what do I do? Just put everything in the center and, you know, or, you know, uh, make a design. But if you, if you get these apps, they, they actually show you, um, if you type in a phrase, you know, like merch money is like a cool group. You can, and then it tells you like how to, put it all cool looking I'm and make sure it all that is cool the phrase that most people type <laughs> <laughs> it is what i type so. i mean instead of it instead I've, of it just being like merch money is cool <laughs> it makes it like all crazy and you're like oh that's cool I've and that's it trending it's trending right so now. It's definitely <laughs> trending <laughs> it makes it appealing so yeah and also um uh, there's a it's not an app but it's um make merch if you have that you can um, pretty much kind of use, you can still use the graphics and you can download them to your phone and then you can um, put them in the over app or you can put them in vintage design and use them. So that's, I use those too. Fantastic. I have a yeah. random question. Uh, design wise, have you ever really sold anything that was like a photo, but you distorted it to make it look really cool as a, as a design? Uh, no, I never have. I've no. never put up a photo. <laughs> I, I've I have put up a lot of text designs though that have sold like crazy, and um, you know I think I think it's just had all has to do with um, what the what the topic was or the idea was, and so that's that's exciting. You know, you can just come up with a cool idea and it'll you know it'll sell. So I, actually, that that my highest um, selling shirt was a text only base and it sold 175 times. Wow. That's I think awesome. that's, that's always mind blowing. I think too, for people that are like new because they always, uh, they always want to go, I guess, naturally to the most ornate, <laughs> elaborate, like design they can come up with. And sometimes it's just the simplest thing like typography that sells. It's, it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That's so, what's in right now. People love words on a shirt. Yep. <laughs> They do. It's crazy. 
So Joe, how did you learn design? Were you originally a designer or did you just, how did you learn? No, I just um, taught myself actually just through, um, I actually knew Illustrator. And okay. so um, I already knew that program pretty much. And so, um, I mean, I knew it a little bit, the basics and stuff. So I, I would watch um, a lot of YouTube tutorials and uh, I kind of learned more more how to do do stuff and that's how that's how I went. I mean, and I actually still use Illustrator now. I, I use I buy it every month. And also, if you don't like Illustrator, if you're not if you're not into that, I would suggest um, like Make Merch or Pick Monkey. I mean, those are like really friendly, um, easy designs for like newbies. Perfect. Yeah, I agree. Mario has a question. Uh, first, he said, "Merch money is gospel, aka my church." Aww. <laughs> and so then nice. he's asking Joe about Adobe Capture app. Oh, the Adobe Capture. I haven't used that in a long time, but um, that's a really cool app. If you um, you take something um, and you can make it into a vector. So if like like I think one time I did like I found like a pineapple or whatever, and I took a picture of it and then it made it to a vector. And then I upload, I changed the color and I uploaded it to a shirt. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Cool. I love Adobe capture. I use that quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It, it comes in handy. You know, if you do, if you're um, worried, if you're worried about graphics, get Adobe capture and then, um, you know, take pictures of, you know, things outside nature, outside, whatever you want. I mean, and then it'll make it into a vector or make it into your own shape. And yeah, there you go. Amy, what um what software do you use to create your shirts? Who me? This yeah. Amy? Texas? Yeah, Texas um. Amy. <laughs> You're gonna be the main one I refer to tonight. She's our designer in the group. Honestly, the over app and the vintage app are my two um my two go-tos. But I recently got the um the new iPad, the the cheap one, not the pro. And it has the Procreate and it does it with, um, you can use the Apple Pencil. So I've been using that app a lot and it's been a lot of fun. And, but the over app for sure. Um, the terms of service are super simple to understand. And they've got, they've got everything I need. So, and I've done very well with it. So definitely the over app. I like the Vintage app too. And I like that they are now um, trying to compete more with the over app. So they've, they've just released a bunch of new um, logos to use and banners and ornaments and everything so yeah i saw that the other day it was really cool yeah i mean they're really trying the only thing they say is be careful about the fonts you can use the images but the fonts make sure you have the licensing for the fonts so other than that it's pretty awesome cool all right well let's go on to the next question then did we answer everything in the chat before i move on yeah, we're good. Yeah, okay. So the next one is about um, details on what it takes to create a quality design. So font selection, graphics, DPI, all of that. Um, so the question from our Facebook group was from CM Elizabeth. And she said, since this is a design segment, how about we go over the importance of the 300 DPI as opposed to say 200 DPI that my Paint Shop Pro app keeps making my files. Also have have seen mobile apps that output 72 DPI, which they say can be used on merch. Will that work too? Let me uh, show you. I don't know if you can see this shirt right here. This was made on um, the vintage design app right there. Oh, and it, and it, you know, if, if it was 72, I mean, it's still uh, printed. It, it looks awesome, you know? So, it, cause a lot of people used to question, they say, Oh, Joe, it, uh, when you go to vintage design and when you go to the over app, it, um, it's, it's kind of easier or whatever, when you open it up in like illustrator or whatever. And, um, it wasn't very clear, but I've printed like 10 shirts. I probably have like 10 shirts that, um, I've either made for myself and they've been all done with the vintage design and over app and they've come out perfect. So, um, that's one question. I, and actually when people were saying that, I'm like, Oh man, I never even bought a shirt. So when I started buying my shirts, I said, Oh, let me see what happens. And that's what it came out. It still came out good. I mean, they made it, they made it come out good. I think you still need to be careful though, not to go with 72 DPI because exactly. that 72 DPI is just, I think that's very blurry, like just straight up 72. Yeah. Um, 300 is usually crisp and everything. And I think the over app corrects a lot of the vintage as far as that's the, the that's probably what it goes so yeah and actually 300 if people don't know that's like 
what you want to put if you're printing. That's for print. Yeah, so like that's nice, what merch wants. That's yeah, what that's what merch saying, wants. 300 DPI. So you definitely like, want to get as close to that as possible. Yeah, like I was doing being printing, and that was the main thing. Just make sure it's uh, 300. If it's for just for the website, it was 72. So, um, but yeah, if you're gonna do like printing wise anything, you want it to be 300. Okay, so, yeah. great. And what about fonts? Because this is something that I don't know. And I, uh, one of the reasons I just wanted to buy designs, because I was like, I have no clue. So where do you guys get the uh, fonts is one question I have. And also, how do you know what font is going to look good with each design? Is it just trial and error? Or do you, hey, how do here's, you pick? Here's a good way. Um, go to your local store, go to Kohl's, go to Target, go to in any retail store that sells graphic designs and see what's selling. I, I think last year and even still today, uh, most of the design fonts that I see are like distressed. And so um, that that's what, that's kind of how I go, go about it and stuff. And even um, uh, Michael Essany, I think be like a month ago, he posted his top 10 fonts that have that has sold on his shirts. And pretty much they were all distressed designs or distressed fonts. And um, you can get some of those from defont.com. Just make sure it says uh, 100% free. You can okay. get those. Um, and then, of course, you know, if you find find one, um, actually, the Vintage Design has a great, has this great um, font that I like, and it's called Anodyne. Okay. And so what I did is went to, like, myfont.com and typed in Anodyne, and I found it there, and I bought it off of there. And then I... I didn't even have to import it because I pretty much just had the license for it then. So if you find it is an app or a font on vintage design, um, Hey, go find that. You know, I think I paid like $27 and now I own, you know, I can use it for commercial shirts Great. or whatever. Yeah. And also cre uh, creative market. I've bought um, a lot of uh, fonts off of there, you know, they're like $20, you know, I mean, are you going to find value packs or bundles or there's always some kind of, bundle or font pack you can buy for like twenty thirty dollars okay and uh what about graphics um do you buy graphics or do you make them or do you use graphics actually when i first started i didn't really know what to do for graphics um i actually looked at pixabay and i and i was kind of weary to use them but i did use some but if i did i always changed them somehow um but now um i found out about a, a design website called storyblocks.com and you pay like a yearly fee. I forgot like $150 or something, but for mm -hmm. a whole year and you can use those graphics for your shirts and you can sell them. So that, that's what I do. I have, um, I have that. And then I also have um, another software graphic software where I buy them and those, those um, graphics are royalty free. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, my, all my stuff is pretty much paid for. So. So even if you stopped using it after the next year, you could still, keep those designs up for sale. Yeah, yeah, you can keep them up for sale. And actually, uh, one thing I did do, I think um, Make Merch came out around that time um, with Dan, um, he runs it. And so uh, that was kind of the question. He's like, yeah, he, so he provided graphics and made sure those were kind of like royalty free graphics and stuff. And so that was one reason I, I, I used uh, Make Merch for a while, so yeah. And I, I, like, I, I Yeah, I still I like use it. That's the only thing, that's the only shirts I've made myself is from Make Merch. Yeah, make and it's really easy to make shirts it's, there. So. Yeah, it's it's beginner level. I can do it. So <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Well, is there any questions from the chat that are about quality design, font selection, graphics? Uh, Marsha was asking, "Can you say the name again?" I'm I'm not sure if she meant storyblocks. dot com. Yeah, storyblocks. dot com. I'll type it in the chat. Yeah. And another thing to go on how to find fonts and especially fonts that look good together. Um, there's tons of stuff on Pinterest that will help you figure out like what fonts really pair nicely together. And you definitely want bold and um, font duos. Like they have those quite frequently on fontbundles.com, like Amber just mentioned in the group. And Hungry JPEG, good for fonts. Not so sure about graphics though. <laughs> Awesome. That's a good point about the font duos. Cause I noticed that a lot on shirts where it's two different fonts and it looks really good together. So that's. Yeah. Those Amber, work really good. Amber Nichols shared that um, font 
bundles.com has a dollar font day each month, which is awesome. And they have free fonts. Yeah, I think every Friday they have free fonts. A lot of them do. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, next question is about designing shirts with text only, graphic only, text and graphic. Which sell the best? What do you tend to focus on? So the question is from Nick Squirrel. And she said, I'd like to know if tees without text sell. I've always sold image only tees on other uh, PODs, but most of the info I've seen about merch is mainly about text-based designs. Not sure if doing image-based designs will make me stand out from the crowd or be dead in the water. What do you think? I would say they all, they all sell. Actually, you know, text, like we said, text sells, text and the graphic sell, and graphic Oh, and you know, actually, my, mine have never really been graphic only, but I do do that. And um, I forgot who it was. Uh, There's a guy, and um, he's in a uh, merch momentum. He's not. He doesn't really have a channel or anything, but he's at. Um, I think one time he just shared in the group. At eighteen tier, eighteen thousand tier, and is that said, Dennis uh, Duncan? It might be. I can't. He's remember at twenty k tier now. 20K. Yeah, he does wow. only image designs. He's, yeah, he said all his all his designs are image only. So I mean. There yeah. you go, Nick Squirrel. You got. You can do it. He said it was because he didn't want to run into trademark. Yeah, he did. So that's actually a pretty smart business move when you have that many designs. Yeah, exactly. But then you so. still have to write a description or put keywords. <laughs> so you're still yeah. gonna run into it. Just put the shirt <laughs> <laughs> of. <laughs> the I've just recently. Ever. I've just recently started doing just graphic only and I'm shocked. Like every time one sells, I'm like, Oh my goodness, somebody bought what I made. That is <laughs> they a, do. Yeah, talk they about totally that, do. Amy. I remember you uh, posting about that. Tell, tell us more about that. Okay. So I got the iPad and I've been playing around with the procreate app, which is absolutely incredible. And I used to draw a lot back in the day. And so it was cool to pick up a pencil again and get to work. And I've created a few different things. Some have sold, some have, some have not. But I'm really thrilled that, yeah, I mean, I, I put a cactus on a shirt and it was like doing the whole dabbing thing. People bought it. <laughs> oh, I'm cool. Like, <laughs> now a bunch of them are going to go up. You're welcome. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not as good as what was the one you did something about? Cats and pinatas. <laughs> I actually made a cat pinata shirt. Yay! You got to link it. I made one. You got to link one. it for our group. I want one. Oh, yeah, I gotta wear it so. before Cinco de Mayo somehow. <laughs> it actually, the the cactus pinata shirt says Cinco de, de Meow. Oh my <laughs> god, oh, cute! That is perfect. <laughs> yeah, no, they sell graphic. Graphic does a lot better than I thought because you hear everybody talking about text, 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 and simple does great. Um, some of my best sellers are just slogans, and but no, people will buy anything. It's just a different audience. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys focus on? Do you try to do like 50% text only, 50% graphics, or is there just whatever your idea is, you just go with it? Yeah, pretty much. Whatever, whatever I feel like making. Like if I feel extra artsy, I'm going to just design a bunch of, you know, graphics. But text does really good too. And you can, and most of the time you can incorporate them both. So awesome. what about you, Joe? Yeah, um, actually we're going to say that, um, they had like the graphic was like kind of like in the word. So it was kind of cool. It actually like kind of replaced like a letter. So it was pretty cool. I actually, it was cool messing around with that. So that's just, a good uh, idea. Yeah. I, I actually, I was, I got inspired because I, I was driving the other day. I forgot. So I was, I was driving to Oklahoma City and like this car passed me by. I'm like, I saw this bumper sticker. And I'm like, dude, I'm going to do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love bumper stickers for that same reason. <laughs> I totally always take pictures of stuff while I'm out. Oh my goodness. I'll be like, too. why are you taking a picture of that that you know billboard or whatever? I'm like I was worry, gonna, worry about it. I was gonna in Walmart. That's all. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> like two different uh sales associates were following me around in Walmart and I was like trying to like take pictures all secretly in the t shirt <laughs> section. <laughs> And I was like, maybe they're not really following me, but the store was like mostly empty. And there was two of them in the same section that kept circling around. I was like. I was doing that. I was doing that. Yes. I was doing that. Yes. I was taking pictures. I was like, hey. I just love that. That's what most of us do. <laughs> like if we're ever in Walmart and you see somebody else taking pictures of shirts, just be like, 
merch. Well, <laughs> like walk away. We need a secret handshake. Merch. <laughs> Are like, I think I'll go it's to everyone though, because yeah. I'll see in my newsfeed on Facebook people that I know for sure are not doing anything with merch or any print on demand. They'll think a shirt is funny and they'll post it. <laughs> they'll be like, my "Oh my god, now, somebody buy this for me." My husband will be behind somebody in the store or like whatever, and he'll like take a picture of the back, like, "What about this?" <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> recruiting other people don't is get awesome. Caught. Exactly. Yeah, don't get caught. <laughs> Oh, I've done it at the I'll gym before, like zoomed in on my yeah. phone, like I'm pretending like I'm looking for a song. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god! Uh oh, I hope nobody's watching this, Amy. They're gonna watch you now. <laughs> <laughs> I cut off the face. There's no faces shown. <laughs> do you guys, um, if you have a shirt that sells, do you try to um, modify it? Like maybe it was a text only. Do you try it that same text with a graphic or vice versa? Do you ever do that? I definitely do that. I try to change things up a little bit or um, like I'm trying to think of one that I just did actually where it was all text and it's selling really well. And I just did the, the most minor of little graphics. Um and, and we'll see what happens. But yeah, I do that. And I try to scale it out too, you know, in different, into different niches if I can. Yeah, you, use it as data. Yeah, I'll do different colors. I'll do it yeah. distressed. Yeah. I'll do one that exactly. isn't distressed. I'll go masculine. I'll go feminine. Yeah. Yeah. I try to, yeah. Sometimes it works. Work it. Work that design. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if people are going to buy it, buy it, please. Take it. <laughs> uh, last summer, um, one of my friends told me, he's like, hey, uh, um, he, he's actually from the green room. He's in merch too. His name's Andrew. And um, he was, he said, uh, hey, what, pineapples are going to be really popular. And so like, um, I just put a pineapple on a shirt and it sold like crazy. And so like, I made an, I'm, I pretty much made that one in like 20 colors. And then like, I made some, I added like two or three pineapples together. And this was, this was all, this was graphic only. I ended up making like 40 or 50, but I ended up selling like, over a hundred of pineapple shirts. So I need your wow. keywords because I have like fifty pineapples up right now, and nobody's yeah. wanting them. Like <laughs> nobody's wanting my out. pineapples. <laughs> they all found Joe's shirt. <laughs> Give me your keywords. <laughs> she I've, wants I've, to push I've, your pineapple shirt out of the way. <laughs> exactly. Uh, any any tips, more? Uh, yeah, I have a question um, okay. for Joe. Any tips on like, cause I outsource the design part of it, but I really enjoy doing the research. Like that's fun for me. Is there any things that I should like work on? Like learning fonts, learning typography, overall how to do design. Just, I don't want to learn the programs. I just want to learn how to know what is a quality design, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, I, you know what, I, that's actually good. I mean, you could, it's good to it just I always research other people's designs mainly. I mean not other people's designs really on merch. I mean like I I'll, I'll go to retail stores a lot and I'll I'll, I'll see like oh this style is selling it, it, here's an example. Um I was at the mall and it seemed like every like uh chain retail store was selling um designs that look like business logos pretty much and then every um, designs that look like merch designs, those were all sold by like mom and pop stores in the mall because there's a bunch in there. So I was like, man, there's like a big difference and stuff. So, um, but I, I actually, I, do y'all ever know, heard of the store Spencer's? This is what merch yeah. reminds me of. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. I haven't been in there since I was in high school. <laughs> it, merch you know, reminds me of that. Yeah. There's a couple a of great, cool, yeah. um, there's a couple of cool websites that are along those lines too. Um, have you guys ever heard of What on Earth? Mm -mm. That's another one where it's kind of like Spencer's and then you can go to their t-shirt section and you're like, oh my gosh, everything is absolutely hysterically funny and you can scale it out and you can do all sorts. It just gets like the creativity flowing, you know? Chris Green, he put out a merch book um, a while back and he's got a bunch of different sites. That one was on it, $6 shirts and others that you can go and see what people are buying. And yeah, I think that sparks a lot of creativity and inspiration too. And then another thing you don't have to, you can do, like I was in a, I think me and my wife, she was shopping in like, I think a Claire's, like an earring type jewelry yeah. type store. And we, I was in there and like, I was just looking at the, the niches that they were selling. None of them, there was no shirts in there, but they had like 
rainbows and unicorns and like pandas and like all this stuff. I like, I'm like, oh, that that's what these people are buying right now. Like the teenagers, yeah. it was like, I was just, I was just pretty much looking at the, um, at the niches that were selling in and like, you know, necklaces and like all kinds of stuff. And you, you can even do that with like home decor, you know, go on, you know, Pinterest and look up all the home decor or our stores and look up what, what, what are they selling the home decor? What's so popular now? And then you could translate that over to merch. I've wow, got that some really awesome. cool I've never, I never would have thought of that going into Claire's. That is awesome. Yeah, I don't usually go in there. We were just saying. Uh, Joe gets all his research from Claire. <laughs> now we know. Listen, you go every Tuesday. We already know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I want to take a second and just uh, shout out people from the chat. Um, thank you guys all for watching. I saw Nick Eden in there. Thank you so much. And um, my dad is in the chat, Glenn Ruffner. So <laughs> thanks, Dad. <laughs> um <laughs> Marsha Godwin, of course, Mario. Mario, you're our biggest fan. Thank you so much. Um, so anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Carlos, we got all kinds of people in here. So I'm sorry, I'm so bad at like being talking and then also writing in the chat. So, but thank you. Donna, thank you has all. A, Donna at, least, has a at least you could find the chat. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I see you. I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out. <laughs> exactly. go, to, go to YouTube and push the mute button and just have your chat Follow on this side on. and your Google Hangout on this side. That's what I'm yeah, that, right. that's the way yeah. everyone does it, but I'm terrified that I'm going to somehow shut down the whole Google Hangout <laughs> if I do that. <laughs> so I'm looking on my phone. I'm cheating. But. Donna has a question <laughs> uh, somewhat design related. Can you talk about online storage space? My files won't sync to OneDrive because the free space is full, so I no, no longer have access to the previews, can't see anything. Um, I personally use Google Drive and I went for the 100 gig of bytes. There's like all different plans. It's like two bucks a month. So if y'all are on Prime, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you're, you have access to Prime Photos and it's unlimited storage. I put everything in there. Prime Photos. Yep. I use Prime Photos also. Pretty much anything in your life, Amazon's got covered. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, it's unlimited, so you don't even have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about paying for additional space. It's just, it's right there. Now, can you give other people access to that, though? That I don't know. I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Because that's what I use pretty so much for. I'm pretty sure you can, but I'm, I'm not positive. They definitely can recognize faces, so they group things together. So you, you, you can see all your pictures that you're in with whoever your friend or your mom or whoever like it'll separate them all out but your dad I, wants to buy a shirt merch money shirt i want a merch money shirt so we, we <laughs> gotta all do. Out. i've been i've been trying to get uh people to make them so guys if you want to make a merch money shirt i'll pick I'll a buy winner it. i'll buy it i'll pick a winner I will buy it you'll see Help your shirt out. on the show for sure you got to make it look nice. Though. Maybe put it put a post in the group. And yeah, can, we should um, we should do some kind of contest. Like a, we could have it based on likes, maybe. People show mm -hmm. the design, and then we can have votes based on the like whoever how many likes for each picture. I like it. Yeah. So everybody who wants to make a make um, merch money shirt, just post it in the Facebook group, and we will pick a winner. And I will definitely buy the the shirt of the winner. You'll, you'll probably get a lot of sales from all of us. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Next question. We're getting way off topic here. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Oh, I already asked that. Okay. So this is about how long should you take on creating a quality design? Is research imp more important or is design more important? So we have two different questions um, in this category. One of them is from Jason Anderson. So we'll do that one first. Um, what is his research to design ratio? So for Joe, so time-wise, what do you spend more time on research or design? Um, probably, uh, I don't know. You know, that one I sold 175 shirts, I made that in like 10 minutes. So, and actually it would, the, the only research that the, where I'll just take, kind of tell you where it came from. It came from like this protest that was going on. And I, I just noticed it and I know it was like kind of really popular. And so I, I just made that shirt really simple of what, of kind of like what they were protesting. And, 
and that that was pretty much all I did. And I mean, you could do that when you see like stuff on the news, or it was I would say it was it was trending, but it wasn't like trending like really crazy. It was like really really niche. I mean, I mean really niche down and like a certain group and stuff. And so it was. I mean, there wasn't there wasn't a lot of shirts up at that time about that. But um, other shirts, I'll I'll go and um, if I'm not for design or research, I'll just it it just depends. I'll like I said, what all the research I do is that I'm out and about um, looking at all the stores because um, if you go to the stores, I mean, what they're putting out and that's what's coming up and that's what people are going to be buying. I mean, go to Dollar Tree. I mean, you'll see already tons of. Uh, uh, like luau type stuff and you know what are the, those masks like those hawaiian type masks or whatever um you, you'll see you'll see all all kinds of stuff then you'll see all the fruit designs the watermelons the pineapples the that, that stuff sells that's how, that's what i've been uploading recently i've been uploading a bunch of like summer shirts like beach stuff vacation stuff family cruise stuff i sold like um Five or six hundred family cruise shirts last year, That's and I didn't. Awesome! I didn't Remember how them. we all learned about the family cruise shirts? I forgot her name, but that she posted, I think, in your group, right, about how she yeah. ran into somebody on the cruise, and they were all wearing her shirt, and she got a picture with them. That was so awesome. I remember that story, yeah. And so, like, I didn't. I, I think it was like late August when I started to upload mine, and I'm like, oh man, summer's over. But those shirts sold to like the end of December. So yeah, because people crazy. go on cruises anytime. So. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I sold like I really sold like five hundred of family cruise shirts. I wow. once it started selling, I just like went all crazy. The really those. good thing with vacation shirts or cruise shirts is people buy them for our whole group, whoever they're yeah. with. So it really helps a lot. I, I definitely recommend that category. My any vacation shirts I've had have done well. And actually, the the most shirts that I've ever sold at one time was 36, 36 shirts and those were um high school gra or graduation shirt which was probably for a graduation class for high school i would think so yeah oh that's good too so so start and actually don't um just make them for you know oh graduation's coming up in may and um may and june or whatever uh they're also going to sell in december because there's a lot Situation. And I actually got that tip from um, Michael Lesson and he was telling me, he's like, he's like, yeah, keep those shirts up and keep making them because there's a lot of college graduations in December. And I was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. So it's cool. That's a good point. I forgot about December graduations. Mm -hmm. And the, and um, kids like toddler size, I actually um, sell quite a bit of toddler stuff. So mm -hmm. preschool graduation, kindergarten, that mm -hmm. sells. Yeah, exactly. So many options. <laughs> All right. So our, our last question from the Facebook group from tonight is from Scott McLean. And we just want to take a moment to congratulate him because today he teared up to 500. So Yay! congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Way to yeah. go. That's, that's awesome. Yep. And he, his question is, would love to see Joe's tips on taking a concept from idea to design and right through to a live listing. Um, in parentheses, brand title, bullet thoughts too, because I'm surely missing something along the way. And Scott, you're not missing anything. You just teared up. <laughs> yeah, you did, you're not missing anything. Um, oh, oh, for uh, here so basically, you go. he wants to know everything you know. Just start everything from the beginning. <laughs> okay, go. here it is. Here it is. Uh, um, uh, just example. You know, you're wondering about designs. You're wondering about like what's selling. The master of that is Michael Lesney. I got his strategy guide. I'll take one of his ideas and then I'll research it myself. And then, um, you know, if there's nothing up, then I'll I'll make my own shirt, my own design off of that. And I will I will take it and run with it pretty much. And actually, and actually a good tip if you do have Michael's strategy guide, here's one thing that I don't think people do. Um, you're like, oh, I, I just want his weekly one. That one comes. I want the latest one. But here's what you do. You go back to the beginning of them. Go back to the, the very first one you have. And then you start looking up those and look how popular um, those are. And there, there's hardly anybody in those niches that he's listed a long time ago. And you jump on those. That's what you do. And then you get the ideas that have already been selling for months, a couple months, because, you know, he's had that out for a while. And then you you run from there. You go, oh, look what people are what people are selling. And um you know, and you do that. Or you take um, RJ Martinez's research guy that he's selling, he's selling his research and you buy that 
and you make your own designs off of that. And that's what I, I've been doing that. I've been, I've been following these guys who are, who are good at research and who are good at, um, you, you, you got to find what you're good at because I'm not really good at research. I am, but if other people are good at research, I'll follow them and I'll find out about them, you know, because if they're offering something for me to buy a course, I'll buy it. So um, that's something that, that's one thing that I do. Um, I was telling, I actually, I was telling RJ, I got him on uh, Patreon and he started doing all of that um, research and design. And, um, you know, he's really good at it. So I was telling him, I, I was, ta- I'd take all his designs and I, I would make shirts of them and I started selling them like crazy. And so I was, I was awesome. trying to, yeah, I was he's, trying to, he's awesome. Them. I love watching his YouTube yeah. channel too. He's great. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, that's one thing that I do. And here's another example. When I first started, I said, well, I have this graphic and I think it's uh, Marcy Mode. Y'all probably know her. Yes, I do. She's I think when she was on the 25 tier, she sold like 500 shirts or something like that. So anyway, something like that, something really crazy. So she was she's some people are really good with like coming up with the words to things. So I was was like, Marcy, give me some help. I need your I need your brain pretty much, you know. And so I, I showed her like this graphic and she's like, oh, say this or whatever. And I did. And then like it sold like immediately. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. So That is awesome. Yeah. And so. and by, back to, real quick to the Michael Essany thing. I think we've brought him up on every show. So guys, if you <laughs> we got to get him on here on a show. But he his guide is amazing. Everybody uses it. And yeah. another tip, I know what you said about going to the previous um week's yeah. newsletters or as far back another tip is just to start from the bottom so instead of going in order like just turn to the last page and start with that because there's so many ideas in there a lot of people don't get through the whole guide so yeah there's no way to get through that yeah so if you pick somewhere near the end you know be might be less people doing it yeah so i would say too, like pick the one that sounds interesting to you because i look for stuff that pops out and it's a lot easier to put keywords to something that you understand versus like something you have to actually look up to know what he's even talking about (laughs) yeah and actually i don't know you guys probably already do it but here's another big tip is uh find you a group of people other merchers and start collaborating or getting ideas from each other. And I mean, I have a group of guys that I talk to like every day. Hey, you know, or, you know, they'll mention stuff all the time of like, check this out. I saw this, I saw that. And um, I, we, we get a bunch, we get a bunch of ideas off each other, you know, I'll even make them designs. I'm like, Hey, I'll make you said that I'll make you a design, you know, and just whatever. That's great. Yeah, it's it's really nice to all work together. It, it cuz like you said, like nobody can be good at everything. That's that's one of the yeah. reasons why we let, we pick so many people to be on the Merge Money show because all of us have different strengths. So, it's it's fun to all work together, all you know, contribute our own ideas. Exactly, yeah. I uh, Corey you- asked, uh, does research come with keywords? I not sure if they mean for one of the guides or I know the S and E guide comes with keywords. There's like long sleeve shirt, t-shirt, hoodie and sweatshirt keywords based on niches, but I don't know about um, RJ's. No, he, his, his is mainly like he looks at lines and says this kind of like idea is popular and um, make your own pretty much. So, yeah, he, he kind of gives you like the niches that are popular. So, yeah. All right. We went through everybody's questions. I'm so happy. Like this. Wait, is, sorry, there's one I more. Mean, okay, go ahead. Everybody uh, from the Facebook group, not not the chat yet. Mario said something about senior collaboration shirt with Joe, and then he asked minutes from concept to design. Like what? how many minutes? How many minutes does it take you to from concept to design? Oh no, no. Oh, I think Mar- Mario was talking about one time. Me and him collaborated on the shirt. Actually, that's that shirt I sold 36 of, and me and him. Uh, came up with like that senior graduation shirt and um, I, we gave him an idea and I kept the other idea and stuff and I made the design and it was like it was like five or ten minutes till we came up with that ideas idea concept and the design it was crazy so nice that's awesome like like here, here an example like okay I, I have a I have an idea okay so here's my idea uh, contact Amy and she's going to design it for me. And then after that, I'm going to contact Brianna and she's going to give me all the keywords and then I'm going to upload it. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> 
Uh, Marsha's <laughs> asking, she would love for us to name a couple of Facebook groups we follow. There's so many out there. March University and March Money, of course. <laughs> I'm super biased. I am totally going to say the Girl Boss Group. Love it. It's wealth of information. If you're a girl, right? Yeah, you if have to be a girl. Sorry, guys. You're not allowed in. <laughs> but <laughs> that's a great group. Merch yeah. Momentum with yep, Michael definitely. Asani. You have to. Like, if you're not in that group, you are you are not doing yourself any. Turn your notifications on. Yes. Yeah. So you can see all the Asani's <laughs> gold nugget posts. And I would say also, um, I think they just changed it now to Merch Empire TV, but the Jersey Empire guys, they have a lot of good stuff in their group. They, they tend to stay on the positive side too. Yeah. Yeah, I like group, that group. Uh, Merch Mastermind, that's a good group. So, uh, Merch by Amazon, exclamation point, unless they changed it, I don't know. That's where um, Jacob Bates <laughs> and Monte, who was in here earlier, that's their group. That's a good one too. There's, There's so the many. There's a couple of guys that I, I talked to and um, I was like, you guys should start a group. This was like a year ago. And then actually they recently started. One is uh, called Merch Today and the other one's called Merch Challenge. And those, they, those just started recently. So awesome. You know what? That reminds the me. There is a group, um, Wingmen. It's these uh, Merch Wingman, I think is, I don't know exactly huh. what it's called. Wingman Merch brothers. Crew, I think it's called. Yes. Yeah, I just joined um, that one. <laughs> there's the, there are these two brothers. One of them does all the marketing. He he knows how Amazon works. The brother's a design. His brother's a designer. He worked for, um, he was a professional t-shirt designer for other companies. And they, they give you just incredible information. So that's a must join. Cool. What was the name again of that one? Wingman crew? You said merch crew? Wingman. Just put in wingman and merch. And wingman merch crew, I think. And you got to answer some questions to get in there. Yeah, you definitely have to answer because if you don't, they will not accept you. Did you guys ever talk about um, Mike Guall? Have y'all talked about him yet on y'all's show? Not on this show, but we have talked to, amongst ourselves about him. Yeah, Everybody he, is talking about him right now. Yeah, yeah he's the, the big... Um, inter like, I watch a lot of these interviews, and they'll, like, ask him stuff. And, like, pretty much the people who interview him are, like, just talking. And they don't let him talk. So I interviewed him on my show. I said, like, two words. And I just let him go pretty much the whole time. And, and you take notes. <laughs> and just, all like, the dude. notes. Yep. Yeah. And so um, he's... That I mean, that's pretty cool. And actually, there's a lot of people that are doing his method now. So about local merch, what it is is local merch, and you pretty much go to your local pizza place or your local restaurants, and you you work with them. You know, like hey, you know, I have you heard of this about this program? And then, you know, we can work with you pretty much. That's pretty much what it is. You're like their own t-shirt media company kind of thing. So yeah, and the cool. piece, the piece that he added that a lot of people hadn't thought of is. People had thought of going to businesses and offering T-shirts for the employees or, you know, things like that. But he added like um, more of like a marketing aspect to it. So if it's a pizza place, like have your customers come in wearing the shirts on Tuesdays and they get half price pizzas or something like that. So yeah. it's adding like a marketing element, which means it's going to be a lot more shirts sold. So you're not just selling it to the employees. You're selling it to all of the customers coming in as well and it's good advertising for the pizza place because then all the people in town are wearing their shirt with their pizza name so yeah, who knows what their roi is on that <laughs> yeah it's sort of a win-win for everyone and it makes it a lot easier going into the businesses he's he's a really smart guy you, i've i've listened to him i don't know if i'm going to go that direction but just hearing him it's like you really i mean with business, it's nice if you are making something for a specific audience. So a lot of us on Merch, we just sort of throw ideas out there, which could work. And, you know, it has worked for a lot of people. But if you can find a target audience who really wants these shirts, you're going to even do even better. So when you're going to a specific business for a specific thing, it, it tends to work really well. I think what's wonderful is how there's not just one way to merch. Like you can go local, you can go licensing, you can just look at trends. I, I think that's just encouraging too, seeing people like Mike Gal or I'm sorry if I butchered his name, but <laughs> yeah, I, I did. It's, and then people like Joe, he's got his thing going on, but he's also now selling designs. He's working with designers and there's just so many ways to do this. It's There's amazing. so many ways. And you're never going to get bored because you can just go in a slightly different direction. The shirts that you have up are still going to keep selling. So it's there's so many different ways to go. It's 
and so many different and ways. There's no me. wrong way unless you, you know, infringe and start breaking the terms. But as long as you're good, <laughs> there's no wrong way to do it. <laughs> And like, if you're having trouble, like, oh, what, what do I need to sell? Or what can I sell? Like one good thing is like, I, I, I probably, I'll probably all of us probably come from like the resale thing of either eBay or Amazon. And they always tell you there is like, sell what you know. I mean, I've yeah. always been told that. And you can do that on merch too. You know, like I, I have some shirts that I'm in big into like communications and videography, photography. And so I know all those terms. I know what people like in those those niches and stuff. So I'll make a bunch of videography shirts or photography shirts because I know what to put, you know, and I know what to look for. I know what looks good. And, you know, maybe you're a collector of whatever, or, you know, your whatever your hobby is, make those shirts first. Absolutely. I think we were talking about that on an earlier episode. It's the things that we're most passionate about are the ones that do the best for us. It's because we know it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And even if you think that whatever your niche is, is too small, like, oh, nobody's going to like this, like put it up there because it's a big world out there. There's going to be yeah. other people that like it. And, exactly. and you're probably going to be the only one putting those shirts up. So and the worst thing that small can happen is, okay. is nobody buys it. And you know what? That's OK. You move on to the next thing and mm -hmm. you learn and there's no wrong way. Couldn't say it any better, Amy. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> So, Joe, do you want to say anything more about any of your Facebook group or your YouTube or anything? I mean, just, yeah, I try to been, I've been trying to put out videos on my uh, Merch University um, YouTube channel. So, I mean, stay, you know, go there and watch some videos and watch the, I actually interviewed uh, Michael Essany recently. And then I interviewed that Mike Guall. Go check out those guys. Those guys had some amazing interviews and just, it's good just to sit back and listen to. Yeah, Joe's been doing some great interviews. So, And I know Michelle's not here, but I'm going to listen to that one with a bunch of post-its. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle loves her post-its. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we we learn just as much from talking to you guys. Uh, you know, it's, and I'm sure you're the same way when you're interviewing these people. It's like, it's great. Yep. So. Well, anyway, I wanted to say next week we're going to have Kelly Roberts on the show. And I don't know, um, we're trying to get some people from outside our own little circles where we all know who they are. So Amy um, uh, Nicholas was the one who introduced us to Kelly Roberts. So we're really excited. Do you want to say a little bit about Kelly, Amy? About yeah, what? Kelly has um, design experience. She does her own uh, work. So it's always interesting to hear different uh you know, where people are coming from. Some people like me and you, Helen, you know, we're ordering designs yes. and working with designers. And some people do it from the heart and they do it because they love it. And uh, yeah, she's she's building up her own uh, following. I, I believe she's uh, starting up a YouTube channel and she's just, uh, I met her through Kindle Publishing and she's really just into POD now, so. Yeah, and she's on several different POD platforms, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so we'll be talking all about that next week. So anyway, thank you so much, Joe and, and everyone. Do we have any last comments from the chat or anything else anybody wants to add? Just some shout outs um, for the active posters, Mario, mm -hmm. Donna, Marsha. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys, thank for you guys that live. <laughs> thank you guys so much. It's so fun having the people watch live. People are appreciative of Joe, so. Yes, Perhaps thank you too. so much, Joe. And oh, he had welcome. a really busy day. Like, this was not a good day for him. So I really appreciate <laughs> you taking the time to sit with us the whole time. I told him, I'm like, you can come on for 30 minutes. You don't stay the whole time. And he stayed the whole Curious? time. <laughs> he stayed the whole time, and we're three minutes over, and he's still on here. So thank you so much, Joe. Oh, Texas You're Girl welcome. Treasures is on. Margaret's on. <gasps> Margaret's on! She's all like, Joe's two-timing her. All right, we got to shut this off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, you got to be next. We got to get you on the show. So, <laughs> well, thank you guys all so much. And uh, thank you again, Joe. And, and that's all we got. All right. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thank you all next Monday. <laughs> all right, bye, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.